Hey guys, Jason here with Jones Etc. I'm here with the Phantom 3 in Newport Beach. We're gonna test it out, see how it does at uh, sunset with about 15 mile per hour winds. First thing I'm gonna do is obviously check my battery levels. On tap, I got full battery. I'm gonna take my gimbal holder off. So the gimbal spree. Grab the remote and grab the propellers. First thing I'll do is attach the propellers. They are self-tightening, so just follow the little directions on the propeller to lock it down. It goes counterclockwise for the black. And for the silver, they rotate clockwise to tighten. Next thing you wanna do is plug in your smartphone cord or tablet cord. I'm using the iPhone 6 Plus and so it clips in just like that. There's a little button right here that adjusts the opening. Plug it in to your phone. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna turn on the transmitter with one tap and then two and holding it that turns it on same with the phantom one tap and then two on the battery starts up and it'll take a few minutes to warm up and acquire the satellites first thing you do when you pull the app up is make sure that your software is up to date It'll say overall status, normal, latest firmware. Then you wanna calibrate. You hit the calibrate button and then say, okay, calibrate compass. Pick the Phantom up with the camera facing out. You do a 360 until you see the backlights turn green Then go down, point it straight down and another 360 until you get a flashing. It's flashing yellow right now as it's acquiring the signal. Just to show you around the app a little bit, here you have your manual exposure settings if you want to dial in your exposure manually. This button here will allow you to choose from raw JPEG or raw plus JPEG for your photos and also your image ratio. Then you have your video settings. You have 4K and 24P, 30P, 1080 and 60 frames per second, and so on. Then you have your white balance, and uh, you can change that from cloudy to neon, custom, sunny. Dial in your white balance settings your color settings, usually I choose log, and then style, which I usually would keep as standard. Here you see the number of satellites the Phantom has acquired. So if you're 10 or more, then you're good to go, and it says safe to fly in GPS mode. Here you can switch back and forth between taking photos or video, but you can also do that with the buttons by hitting this button for recording video or this button for taking pictures. And then your play button to review. This is your manual exposure and this is your gimbal dial. You have your map down here. You can actually go full map mode and then you still have your view of what the camera's seeing or hit it to go back. So you can go back and forth between the two if you want. Here you have your go to home button. If at any point you want to return to your home location, you can hit that button right there. And it will say return to home and land. And I think we're ready to take off, so I'm gonna hit this button here. This says take off. So it's gonna take off 
and pretty much hover about four feet above the ground until you're ready to take off and fly. When you get to about 30% power, it's gonna give you a low power warning here. And then also you can see your progress bar right here. It tells you how much time you have left on your battery. So right now it says I have about 258. There's also a little H right there that at, when it hits that point, it wants you to come home because that's how much power you have in order to get home. So I'm gonna show you what happens when it actually hits that mark. Okay, so it tells you when it's, and then you can actually, you can say go home now or you can cancel. So now it's returning to me or you can cancel out of your go, go to home sequence. 